Hi everyone, this is Dr. Palacios and I'm here to answer another question relating migraines. The question today is, why do some smells trigger my migraines? It is true that there are certain compounds, certain smells that can trigger a migraine for migraine sufferers. Even sometimes just can just give you a headache, even for people who don't suffer migraines. And I'm going to give you a list before I go into what, why this is, or possibly why. So the list goes from the most common trigger to the least common trigger. So the most common trigger is perfume. 76% of migraine sufferers get triggered by perfumes, and which also include colognes. And the second one goes to paint, and then gasoline, and then car exhaust cigarette smoke, and bleach. And the reason is because in a way it triggers a reaction, but uh, some type of allergy reaction into our head. So when we smell something, our olfactory nerves here, they go into the olfactory bulb in our brain, then it goes into our brain to process it, and then we have a reaction, whether it's pleasant or unpleasant. Part of that reaction also involves the blood vessels. So your blood vessels in the head, they have a reaction to either expand or constrict, get big, widen, or narrow. Well, when you have a reaction that leads to a migraine, your blood vessels actually expand, they vasodilate. And compounds that can cause a histamine response or an aller allergic response can also cause vessels to dilate. And this vasodilation is gonna lead to the migraine attack. How does that happen? is due to some factors, but the most common one that I'll mention is when your blood vessels widen, you're gonna have more flow of compounds, including platelets, which are your clotting proteins. But platelets also release a serotonin hormone or compound that tells the blood vessels to shrink, to get small. And this rebound of expanding and shrinking is what leads to the migraine or even the headache. So whatever is the cause of your migraines or the migraines affecting your sense of smell, always write those things down. In a naturopathic tenants, in a naturopathic care of prevention, it is important to know and learn about all the causes of your triggers to your migraines or other symptoms as well. Keep in mind, what did you smell? Was it the trigger? How can you stay away from those kinds of smell? Many migraine sufferers, they tend to stay away from all sorts of perfumes. The other thing too, is that if you do go to, let's say a cocktail party and you are exposed to a lot of people who are wearing lots of perfume, make sure you have a ventilation area close to you, somewhere where you can go outside, take fresh air before you go in and try to socialize. And it's tough because there are some migraine sufferers who are so sensitive to that, that they can't even attend to such parties. And again, it's a real thing. It's not being antisocial. You have to understand that migraine sufferers have a very hypersensitive antenna and they can get a migraine very easily. And it has nothing to do with their wanting them so they can just avoid these kinds of scenarios. It is wrong to think that. So I hope you learned something today regarding smells and migraines. Whether you are a migraine sufferer, you probably knew about this, but if you're somebody who's trying to become educated on migraines, then I hope you learned something on how 
other molecules or what we call pheromones can lead to a migraine. So I hope you have a great rest of your day. Please consider giving this video a like. If you want to see more coming up, please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much and have a nice rest of your day.